What's up, everybody? We're Nirvana Lonrod here, here to talk about a Vicious Bass and DJ Magic Mike uh, single exclusive. Uh, I actually have, personally, the cassette single, as you can see here, but uh, the 12 inch is exactly the same. It's the same 12 uh, track listing, it's the same picture cover, um, except, you know, it's not oblong. Now, the single is called It's Automatic. It's the first single off of this album, Back to Haunt You, um, which, by depending on your account, is either DJ Magic Mike's second or third LP. There's really no debating that this album, DJ Magic Mike and the Royal Posse, is his first album. Uh, but then, a lot of online sites credit this album, Bass is the Name of the Game, as his second album. And maybe that's true. Uh, this came out in 1990, and this came out in 89. But the sources I've found that, that say this is the third album all credit this album universally as being 1991. And I'm talking like, you know, Discogs, um, I think even Magic Mike's own site, um, various other sites which are probably, you know, cannibalizing the information from each other. Um, but there's, you know, I got this, and right here on the cassette and on the artwork, both clearly credit as 1990, which would make it the same year as uh, Faces the Name of the Game. I don't know. It's 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 anybody's guess. They both certainly came out in the same year, and this certainly did not come out in 1991. What did come out in 1991, however, was the single that followed up the album. It's automatic. Uh, and before I actually go any further, let me uh, clarify exactly who Vicious Bass is, because I think some people are confused there as well. Clearly, the lead MC rapping on all of the Vicious Bass album is MC Madness, uh, best known, of course, for DJ Magic Mike's later albums, which, uh, or at least a couple of those albums, were credited as DJ Magic Mike and MC Madness. And they were a duo, and they had, you know, Dynamic Duo was their big single, uh, and that's probably how they, you know, it's sort of the height of their career when they're best known. Um, so this is clearly an early pairing of DJ Magic Mike and MC Madness. But Vicious Bass is actually the pairing of MC Madness and his DJ, DJ Lace, who does do some, uh, some of the scratching on this album. Basically, all the scratching on the album is Magic Mike, uh, including on this single, but there's a couple tracks, uh, and if you read the liner notes, you can track it down, where DJ Lace is a crash game. And there's actually one song where uh, Lace and Magic Mike do a battle against each other, which is really cool. But that's not on the single, so <laughs> enough about that. So what does this single have that makes it notable? Well, it has several exclusives. In fact, technically, it's all exclusives. It's got, um, but the first, you know, some of them aren't so impressive. The first is the club mix of Automatic, which is really not that different from the album version of It's Automatic. I think it's, you know, slightly extended instrumental towards the end, um, slightly re-edited, but essentially it's the same. Then you've got some break beats for It's Automatic, and then you've got a radio edit, which obviously nobody cares about. Uh, but then the standout, the most notable thing, is a whole new track on the B-side called Magic Michael Load the 12 and Hit Ya. Now, even though it's got its own title, it's actually just another version of It's Automatic. In fact, it's completely the same instrumental as It's, as it's Automatic, um, but it has no vocals. It completely drops out uh, MC Madness. And for the first, like, minute and a half or so, it really just sounds like, you know, for being, ooh, exclusive, not available on LP, you know, it's, it's just a re-edit of the instrumental of It's Automatic again. But, um... Pretty soon, uh, the sampled vocals of MC Madness kick in. Uh, they repeat the line a few times, Magic Michael, load the 12th and hit ya, which is um, a line from the original version of It's Automatic. And then DJ Magic Mike proceeds to do a whole bunch of really ill DJ routines. I'm going to play a sample of that because that's pretty hot, and that's what makes this worth tracking down. Finally, then, there's an extended version, or specifically called long version, of uh, Back to Haunt You, the title cut from the Back to Haunt You album. Uh, and, you know, it's nothing special. So they haven't added anything amazing, but it is, I would say, better than the album version, so which makes that one the slightly more definitive version. Uh, and so it's just one cool extra little bonus on top of uh, It's Automatic. So I don't know, I might talk about some more DJ Magic Mike in future updates, but uh, that's about it for me tonight. Um, I'm going to play you a clip, as I said. We'll skip right ahead to the, uh, we'll skip, you know, the, the prelude, which, as I said, is the instrumental that is automatic for like the first minute and a half, and we'll jump right into the LDJ stuff. And then I'm out of here. That's it. Peace till next time. Bye.